Hi, I'm your host, and I will be talking about some of the cool holidays here in South Africa. Most of them are different than here in America. First up, we have the Kinsho Oyster Festival. The Kinsho Oyster Festival is held at the Garden Root town of Kinsho every July. This event is sometimes called the 10 finest days of winter, even though it's in July. And in some, it's a worthy tribute to the humble oyster. The next one I have in store for you is Boxing Day. Boxing Day is celebrated Tuesday, December 26th, and it's the Day of Goodwill. Other countries, such as the United Kingdom, New Zealand, Canada, and Australia, also celebrate Boxing Day on December 26th as a public holiday. Next, we have one of my favorites. It is the Arts Alive Festival. During September, September, Joe Hansenberg hosts the Arts Alive Festival, a 10-day spectacle dedicated to South Africa's visual and arts. Theaters and other venues in the city's old new town predict stage and dance dance and musical shows. Audiences are just as likely like likely to see local performers enact Afrofusion as Spanish flamenco dances. International acts often include Chinese puppet groups and ballet troops. Another one I have for you is Heritage Day. It's a date dedicated to celebrating the country's diverse diverse cultures. Heritage Day is on September 24th and recognizes and celebrates the the cultural wealth of the nation. South Africa celebrates the day by remembering the the cultural heritage of many cultures that make up the population of South Africa. Various events are staged throughout the country to commemorate this day. Now I have some fun facts about South Africa. Did you know that South Africa is the largest producer of macadamia nuts in the world? Another one is that the first heart transplant in the world took place in 1967. The last one I have for you is that there is more than 2,000 shipwrecks in and around the coast of South Africa. The last one I have for you is the Cape Town Visual Carnival. The first event of the year is the Cape Town Visual Carnival, or the Capac. Capice Klaus and Africans. It was originally held on January 2nd, but now somehow it start, some festivals start on the 1st and continue throughout the first week of the year. The, the event sees teams costume Israel parade through the streets of Cape Town playing traditional music and jazz. Celebration of emancipation attracts tens of thousands of visitors every year. Those were some of the cool holidays that South Africa has that are different than here in America. That is it from your host, the host. Goodbye.